Let's compare a carburetor, stock slide needle, a stock slide needle that has been shimmed, and a tapered slide needle. But first, let us look at how the fuel flows. See how the fuel flows from the bottom to the top. The fuel flow is restricted by the needle. The red dots show where the restriction is at the needle. The needle position is determined by how much throttle you give. With no throttle, the needle is at its lowest position, restricting the fuel flow the most. Giving more throttle will raise the needle, allowing for more fuel. Let's place the different needles side by side. The needles shown are at low RPM range. The far left is a stock needle, the needle in the center is a shimmed stock needle, and the right needle is tapered. As you can see, the stock needle at the left restricts the fuel flow more compared to the other two needles. The shimmed needle and tapered needle allow for more fuel delivery. There is virtually no difference between the shimmed stock needle and the costly tapered needle. Let's compare at mid-range RPMs. At mid-range RPM, we see the same behavior. The stock needle restricts the most, whereas the shimmed stock needle and the tapered needle allow for more fuel delivery. Again, with no real difference between the shimmed stock needle and the tapered needle. Now, let us take a look at the high RPM range. As expected, the shimmed needle and the tapered needle provide equally more fuel. Here, we can conclude that a shimmed stock needle and a costly aftermarket tapered needle provide similar increased fuel delivery. Next, we need to look at the main jets. Since we allow for more fuel going through the needle, we need to supply more fuel to the needle. Let's compare a stock size main jet with the larger main jet. To the far left, you see the stock size main jet restricting the fuel flow to the needle. The stock size main jet will not allow for enough fuel, especially at high RPM, when the needle is in the highest position. The image next to me shows the use of a larger main jet. The larger main jet supplies enough fuel to the needle, even at high RPM. A main jet that is too small will cause a lean condition, and a main jet that is too large will cause a ridge condition, especially at higher RPMs. It is therefore very important to use the correct size of main jet. The Carb Jet Kits Jet Kit Calculator will determine the correct main jet size to be used. Let us compare the Carb Jet Kit Jet Kit with a tapered needle jet kit. We are now looking at a shimmed stock needle with calculated main jet size. The size of the main jet has been calculated to have the optimal size so that only one main jet is needed. This means for you that you only have to work one time on your carburetors. Next, let us look at a tapered needle jet kit. These kits come with several main jets of different sizes. It is up to you to find the correct main jet size. This means you will have to work on the carburetors multiple times. So, what do you think will work best for you? Another important part of fuel delivery to your carburetors are the pilot jets. Pilot jets, or idle jets, are most effective at idle and lower RPMs. To the far left is the shimmed stock needle with calculated main jet, and next to me is the tapered jet kit with multiple main jets. The carb jet kit's jet kit includes a larger size pilot jet, allowing more fuel delivery. In addition to the fuel delivery through the main jet and shim needle, the tapered kit does not include a larger pilot jet, making this jet less effective at idle and lower RPMs. The carb jet kit's Jet Kit Calculator will determine the correct main jet size, the number of shims to use, and the size of the pilot jet. The calculated combination of the correct sized main jet, the shim needle and the larger pilot jet will give you the best value in performance, installation time, and price. You can find the Carb Jet Kit Calculated Jet Kits at the link on the upper left corner. Now. You see a large selection of motorcycles. Find your motorcycle on the list to proceed using the jet kit calculator.